So far, we were learning from only one task. So our, now we are moving towards general AI. Because if you think about a human, not only they can uh, tie their shoes, they can read, they can listen, they can do multiple different tasks together. So far, we are focusing only one task and designing our intelligent agents for being able to do single tasks at a time. Now we want to move beyond that. And there is also one other thing that a human can do very good is that they can transfer their learnings from one domain to the other domain using very few examples. Can we move towards that aim? And this is the idea of meta learning. You want to train a single model on a variety of different tasks. And then as soon as a new task comes in, you want your agent to be able to adapt really fast and learn from small data. You can think of this also as a few shot learning approach. You want to be able to learn from few examples, few shots. What is the big idea is that you can train your tasks as training examples. We are gonna have a single model that is gonna take as input observations and it's gonna do some outputs. And we are gonna consider not only supervised learning, but reinforcement learning under one umbrella by defining what is a task. What do you mean by a task? To define a task, you need to define a loss function or an objective function. You need to put a distribution on your initial observations. You're gonna have some transition distributions and you're gonna have some episodes. This is what you do for reinforcement learning. X1, you take an action. X2, you take the corresponding action until the end. You write down a loss function. You have some initial distribution, you have some transition distribution, and then you have some episodes of how many times you're gonna be living in that environment. If H is one, you are doing supervised learning, okay? So under one umbrella, you can do reinforcement learning and supervised learning. I think it's a good time to stop and uh, let you guys ask questions. And for those of you who want to leave, you can leave. So with H equal to one, we're just saying that, um that we just do like one, we have like an initial state and we make a decision and we know what the outcome is from there. So our episode length was only one action. Yes, for supervised problems, there is no sequential nature. Okay. So you just decide what's gonna be your- Because you know the reward. Yes, because you know your label. Yeah. And okay. the other thing is that uh, your actions don't affect your environment. So there is no transition to the next state. Your data are IID. Okay? Yeah. But here your actions are going to have an impact on your state on what you're going to see next when you do reinforcement learning. Okay. Yeah. Thanks.